We'll just get straight into it. Oh, these okay. are the cards. Yeah. Oh. So we each take one. So one by one. So you just take one, you read it out, and then you can both answer. Who first? Who first? One to choose. One, one two, choose. Okay. That's right. <laughs> oh. What <laughs> what initially attracted you to me? Um your charm. Mm. Uh well, when we first met, do I look into any cameras? You can just talk to me. Right. Well, when we first met, you texted me on Instagram. Yes. I didn't really go through your pictures. Yes. Because you didn't look like my type from afar. Yes. So basically your charm via conversations we have. Um, and also that you would send me recordings of you singing. Yeah, just stuff like that. Okay. All right. Also, you're a sucker for rom-coms. Yes, yes I am. Yeah, I'm very, very cringy. Yes. Your turn. Okay, All right. What does huh, receiving love from me feel like? <sighs> okay. There's two ends. Can feel suffocating. But also the best thing. Okay, it's a bit like bringing up shit because like we were going to break up two days ago. Come on. Yeah, and then we haven't talked about anything since then. We just swept it under the rug. For now, we still For now. talk about it. Okay, has our relationship lived up to your expectations? Ooh, uh, <laughs> has our relationship lived up to my expectations? Um, honestly, at first, no, mm -hmm. because because like you know, I want the kind of love that I see on the internet and in movies, mm -hmm. you know. But then it's hard for you to show up like. The movies, if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? Hmm. Because you're going through a lot. And also your ADHD. And it's hard for you to be in the present with me. Yeah, I try. So, no, it didn't really live up to my expectations. But over time, I think... Um, my... I think over time, my idea of our relationship mm. changed mm. after I understand or understood the things that you were going through and like how you view life. It's kind of weird. So, real life. It's hard. So it changes a lot. So I would say now, it is living up to my expectation in the sense like I think we're healing very well together and I think we've been communicating very well. We've been putting in effort to make the relationship work even though it's really, really, really hard, hard on the both of us because we have so much of trauma. Yeah. And we trigger one another a lot. Too much. But I'm glad that over time we figured a way to come together and talk better. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Describe. <laughs> Fuck. Describe the first time you had sex with one another. Damn. Damn. Okay. When was the first time you had sex? Uh, I think we were. I think, I think we were in your 
hometown, right? Right. Right. This is not going out to my family, right? Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna tag them. Okay, do not <laughs> tag anyone <laughs> from home. Hey. Anyway. Okay, I. This is like my first woman love woman relationship. So, it was my first time experiencing. I would want to say lesbian sex. <laughs> um, when we first uh, when we first met, we were doing long distance. Mm. We met up once, but we didn't do anything. We just made out. Then the second time when we met, that was when we had sex. Was when I flew to Kuching. Wait, but I also went to your hometown. That was after the first time I went to your hometown first. Oh. Do you remember? No. It was two. We, we, okay, I can't remember very very well. I just know events. Okay. I went to her hometown mm. and then um, her parents has like a whole other house. So we lived in that house all alone, just the two of us. So we had sex every morning because um, surprisingly, she's very horny in the morning like a guy. Yeah, so that was fun. Like, that was my first time getting eaten out really well. Um, You're welcome. Yes. Right. Every time we do things, she make me cry. For some reason, even on the phone call, I cry. Masturbating, I cry. Having sex with her, I cry afterwards. She's kinky in a weird way. No, like, I cry because, like, it was so good and I felt, like, loved and appreciated, which I've never felt with any other guy. Mm. Was surprisingly, surprisingly just with her. It's just like how we feel, felt, right? Um, honestly, best sex I've ever had in my entire fucking life. But I've only been alive for 24 years. And I've only started fucking when I was... Oh wait, I shouldn't say that. Alright. <laughs> I was going to say Don't something. Don't reveal unnecessary yeah. information. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was better than having sex with men. Okay, that's for me. That's why I felt really loved. Sex with you is... is... um, I don't know what's the word to use. There's a few. I would want to give more, but I also want to receive. Because you're good. Oh, you... Oh, you... Oh, you... Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. In what ways have I changed your life? <laughs> I feel like it's so repetitive because I keep saying it so many so often. Um, well, you've pushed me, you've encouraged me. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for you. I think I will probably kill myself after finding out my degree results. Hmm. No, I don't think so. No, I would. But you have good friends. No, I would. Um, I'm very depressed. Yeah, we. Yours. I'm very, very depressed, and honestly, I don't see the point of living life. If it wasn't for you, but I shouldn't say that, because then that means I would have to rely on you very often, and I don't want to do that, because you're not going to be in my life. Okay. That often anymore. So, you've helped me. I think you're getting better at being independent. independent. Yeah. yeah. Bit by bit. I know. But I also, I also know that you push me really hard to believe in myself and to put myself out there, to voice out. You should. You should be. And I tell you this so often because I want you to know that I appreciate that I have you in my life and I don't want you to go. me out there. Where's you don't want you to go? Because I feel like um I feel like there's so much more I can do and I need you in my life to help me. 
reach to where I want to be. And I'm in and I'm in the middle of achieving my dreams and I want you to be there with me. I don't want to say this often, but I do see your growth so much. And you should be out there more often because people need more people need more people who just say shit out of their mind. And that's one of the first things that I felt for you. Remember? I know. So be afraid. You, you sometimes shit you say is annoying <laughs> and insensitive and insensitive very and much rude. and rude so much <laughs> but a lot of things are rude don't go like you know oh this is really long I don't know how it was an emotional question and then the next one is just about sex I'm trying to balance it out. <laughs> You're balancing it very well. Have you ever used toys in the bedroom? Yeah. If you have, describe the experience. If you haven't, would you be open to it? And what toys would you want to explore using? Oh. More, more bondage stuff. More bondage? Yeah, tying up and all that. I would like to try that. I mean, we kind of try but not with a very like proper tools, I think. Yeah, we only use the belt. Mm. Belt, belt. Have you ever used one. toys in the bedroom? Ooh, we love. She loves vibrators. I love dildos. <laughs> yeah. How do you use the dildos? Um, I don't use usually for fucking. Um. We haven't really done any butt stuff. I do it to you. Uh, <laughs> I'm not ready for that. Yeah, why? Why are you pushing me to? You did it before. I did it before one time, and that was it. Mm. Um. Yeah, she loves dildos. I love vibrators because I get like orgasms and I reach climax with my clit. Mm. I like to get fucked hard. Yeah, surprisingly. And I like to fuck hard. Hence, hence I am very... In, it, it's like the dildo isn't enough. Yeah. If I could put a chair in, I think <laughs> she would take it. Honey, not a chair. No, for some reason, Something like, it. it's really big. <laughs> I just, I just, it's like, it's never That's enough. That's why I said she needs to go to the gym more. Because your arm strength needs to up the game. Yeah. Do you want to explore any editing? Gap ball, mouth gags? Yes. We got one, but it wasn't very good. Mm. Yeah. I think why. I would want to. Wax play is also candle play. I would uh, someday I want to try to. On me or on you is fine. Mm. <laughs> is there something you didn't know about love that you learned while with me? Ooh. Oh, wait, that's my question. Fuck, this should have been your question. Okay, I'll answer this with you. Okay, you answer first. Something you didn't know <laughs> about love. <sighs> is there something you didn't know about love that you learned while with me? Uh-huh. Right. I think with me, Love language was very important. Our love language are very different. Mm. The way you want to be loved is very different from me. Like when you're angry, you don't want to be hugged. You just want to be left alone, mm. which is something that's hard for me. But that's your understanding of love. Is that your understanding of love? Or is that like a, mm. a like avoidant response? No, it's more like my... 
Um, I need to calm down. Yeah, and I think me giving you that space is a, a sign of love, mm. right? Um, I think while with you, that you can be straightforward. It's okay to be straightforward. It's okay to just say it as it is mm. with you. I think with you, talking to you, how I think, what I think, mm -hmm. it's this relationship is the most honest one. I, I just say out what I feel. But it takes you a while to say out what you want to say. No, even in anger or sadness or anything, I, I can't. Usually when I'm pretty amped up on emotions, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I just cry or throw a tantrum or have an anger issue thing, hulk out. But then after that, even if it's hard to say, you made it okay to just tell you. Mm -hmm. And I learned to be more straightforward and I learned um, to have a line with you. Like boundary is okay. Yeah. And the boundary is a must. Yeah. 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 Something that I didn't know about love. That I learned while I'm with you. Um, something about love. Mm, what have I learned? I've learned to communicate better with you. I've learned not to not to be passive aggressive. Oh, that's so triggering. Yeah. I've learned that if I'm upset I should just tell you why. Yeah. It's I've, so annoying when you just up. talk away. Shut up. I've learned that Honestly, I think I just learned how to communicate better. I've learned how to be a better person. Something that I didn't know about love that I learned while I'm with you. <laughs> also, oh. also you, to relax. You taking your space away from me does not mean you don't love me. That you still love me, but you just need some time to calm down. I think that's the hardest part for me. That's what I'm still trying to learn. That just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you hate me and you don't love me. You still love me. It's just that you need time to go and process your thoughts and calm down. Yeah. I'm still learning that. Still trying to insert that into my brain. It's hard because, you know... When someone say like, oh, you know, fuck off, don't talk to me. You assume that they don't want you anymore. And you saying that you need space and you want to move out. I feel abandoned. I feel abandoned, but... But I shouldn't feel that way. Because you still love me and you want to... You want to work on yourself. You want to have the space to work on yourself. So our really can, our our relationship can grow better. I think being with you, I didn't know before, was that how brave I can be, how firm I can be, and that. It, It's okay to be unstable. Yeah, definitely. You can always just rely on me. It's hard for you to rely on me because you grew up not relying on anybody. But I'm not anybody. I choose to be here. I choose to love you. <laughs> and I still want you. And I'm going to be here for you. This is kind of nice. 
this is the first time we talk about shit like this and then we didn't fight I mean, no, it's not. There's a few times, but it takes a whole fucking process. Yeah. To get there. Oh, it's my, my turn. turn. Oh, it's gonna be sex. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you guys are the journey. <laughs> is there Central anything? and sexual. It is. Hey. It is. Is there anything about our lives, sexual or emotional, that you like to change or explore? Oh. You know what? If I wasn't so burnt out, right, we would be having sex a fuck lot. We barely have sex. We live together and you think we fuck every day. It's like married couple. Fuck once in a fucking blue moon. Yeah. And I can count the amount of times I get fucked. Zero. You know. There's a reason for that. We both know. <laughs> so what's okay. it? Is there anything about our life, sexual or emotional, that you like to change or explore? Um, probably the intimacy. You know, I realize I have a problem with allowing myself to be intimate and vulnerable. I know. It's very obvious. Yeah. You you are, you have an avoidant attachment. Huh? I told you to go to therapy. I told you I'll pay for it half. You know, no. That's not the conversation now. Ah. If it's one thing to change, I think it it was it was getting better. Mm-hmm. I think our sex life depends on our mental state. Your mental state. Mine. I'm always horny. Yes, but there's also how when you're down and then you just want me to be a meat and it's like <laughs> fuck me. You know, and it's very turn off. I just. I haven't got the fuck lah. It wasn't because you haven't got I the haven't got fuck. The fu- it was because you were like depressed and then you just go, fuck me. I want to get fucked tonight. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, that's how I go through my shit lah, right? When my life is a mess, I just want to get fucked. I just want to sit on somebody and then just call it a night, right? Uh, yeah. If there's one thing that I would like to change or improve on. Louder. Change or improve on. (laughs) Would just be less of a chore or order. Like like a like a thing and what is a chore? Like making having sex with me is a chore. Yeah, you're making it sound like alright, tonight we're gonna fuck. Like just let me come on to you. Well, it's been, it's almost been a year. Yeah, we know, we know why. We know why we've been fucked. This is why I want to fly back to your hometown. Because that was the only time that... Yeah, there wasn't very much problem then. That that you basically, you know, um, how to say, you took the first move in everything. That's also before the whole crazy fights we have that wore me down. Somebody should write a book about living together. I think there probably is. It's definitely difficult. Yeah. Who knew? I, I knew. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know like fighting over chores would be a thing. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Fights over so stupid. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you wanna jump to a different one? Can you go to the next one? I think I would like to explore role play too. More role plays. We've been doing that. No? We did last time. I a little bit. Yeah, then we stopped because, you know, you stopped being interested in me. Yeah. It was too fucking overwhelming. My body's just there. Yeah, Dina, I'm not looking for something to just hump. I okay. can do that on my own. Jesus. <laughs> How do you see our fucking fuck? How do you, <laughs> <laughs> How do you see our future together? Oh, hey. oh that's, that's that you're asking me. Of, but I want to ask. Uh, I feel like the question, so. <laughs> okay, how do I see our future together? Well, I want to have kids with you. I want to marry you. Damn. Because honestly, you'll be such a great father slash mother. Slash whatever you want to be. 
But I just know you'll be a great parent to the child someday. I honestly think so too. I want us to move out of this country because we can't have a life here. Just go somewhere where your work can flourish. You know, start mingling with white people. And then, yes. then me. The way my work I'm, I'm, I'm answering a question. Fine. Do not interrupt. Uh, then, you know, I get to work in a little cafe, hopefully making bread. And then, um, you know, just planning our life somewhere else and hopefully having a child someday when we're both mentally stable and financially stable. Mm, you know, just like that, law. Like, it doesn't have to be now, it doesn't have to be next year, it doesn't have to be five years, honestly, 10, 12, 15 years. I want to life with you. We are putting so much of effort into this relationship. But if someday your idea of life and, and you're really adamant about it and I do see that you're not going to change on how you're on how you view life, then I know it's time for me to go. And that'll be okay too. I learned to be okay with it. I'm not gonna force you to do anything you don't want to. I learned that the hard way from you. Hey, I think the way I view life is so adamant. It's because I think I have, you know, we're just literally talking about it just now, like, <laughs> the reason I have this kind of view of life where I don't really see I will have a partner forever or even if I have it be just just living more more of a living in the moment things because the question is how do you see our future together? I'm there too. <laughs> it's okay. I understand. I want to so bad. You're gonna break my fingers. <laughs> it's okay. You just started out your, you know, your career is taking place and you're now, you know, seeing doctors for your fucking ADHD and you're like, you know, working on yourself. So I'm not gonna... If I... The way I see it, our future, my way... It would be... Mm -hmm. <laughs> just... A lot of mornings just waking up like to you lazing around like we do now. <laughs> <laughs> if I do see, if I dare to see, you would just be a cozy space. Your plants everywhere that you would make me take care of. And you have green fingers. No, you just have very dead fingers. <laughs> I'm just really lazy of taking care of the plants. And you try, even though you try to die, so I don't know. <laughs> but I still want more plants. I know. Okay. If I do dare to see the future, it would be a cozy space just for us. And a dog? No. Oh. Maybe. And we would go around. Uh huh. Being a foodie together, trying new things I together. Love that. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. visiting museums together. So good. Just 
But we will be doing our own thing. I would love to keep supporting you. Are we gonna have kids? I have no fucking clue. I am already a child to you. I'm already a child. You know, I don't know why you want another child. Just want another child. And I'm scared of thinking having kids. I'm scared of thinking. It's okay. I mean, I'm not ready to have a child now. I have two children at home. I already feel like a mother to them. I think I'm just. If I, see, if I dare to see the future, it would be so warm, <sighs> so safe, so comfortable, mm -hmm. just next to you, on a seat just next to you, no matter where it is, if I dare to see. But I'm scared too. It's hard to get it over traumas. This is your first time seeing this. It's hard. Yeah, I've never heard you say this before. Because I mean, him when we talk about the future, you start being defensive, you start being angry. <laughs> Or you just walk away from the conversation? Because the last time I dared to dream of a future where someone is just... But I'm not that person. I know. <laughs> but if you end up being gone, it will hurt so much more. I think I'm just scared of that. And I don't like talking about it. I just, <laughs> I just want us to do our thing while being next to each other, where it's just being in the present with you. I know you're trying to. I see that. Thank you for telling me this. Because I honestly never heard you say all this, never heard you been this vulnerable about this question. Right, no, I know, it's because I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> you should really go to therapy after this. Stop. No, you have no You so broke. I will pay. I will you sell my won. body. <laughs> We've been through this. I did say you can go sell your body if you want to, <sighs> but we both know you won't. I will find a sugar daddy. That's not the point. You're also as broke as I am, if not I worse. Will <laughs> Oh. Um. <laughs> no, we took it real emotional and <laughs> Are you honest? <laughs> okay, between all the girls you fuck, I made the best sex you ever had. I have I have not fucked so many girls. Wait, this is my question. No. Yeah. You, you ask girls have you answered. Yeah. Okay. Am okay. I uh are you the I had the best sex I ever had. Yes. Obviously. Literally. All the guys I fuck with took them like 10, less than 10 minutes sometimes. And then they're done. 15 minutes, <laughs> done. That's it. This one, go on for one hour. Oh, the fun. role play and everything. Honestly, lesbian sex, so long. Because females were blessed with multiple organs. Jeez, honestly, it's it's amazing. And then like, um, what is it called? Your energy, your, like, you don't get tired easily. Uh -huh. It's not that I don't get tired easily. Even if I do, there would be a next you just, You just, yeah, you just go on and you just, you know, persist. All right, I made the best sex you ever had. Yes. Don't lie, huh? <laughs> don't yes. lie. Okay. Explain, explain. Explain. <laughs> I think it's just because you're very sensitive. Your body is quite sensitive. And having sex with you teach me patience. Really? Yeah. How come? In what way? 
No, it's like I orgasm very fast. Well. No, no, no. It's not about orgasm fast. Well. No, it's like <laughs> um, like I I have to like patience in the sense where I take my time to make sure your body feels comfortable and horny. Oh, horny yeah, that's up. true. You know, you have that old right, no, thing. Like with you, it really teaches like to be patient. And, know how to make you feel comfortable and after you're geared up it gets really really intense and it's pretty you can you get wild i thought you said the second one that you do every day yeah but then i also got yeah i'm not gonna comment on that except the compliment Lina, you yeah are the best. Uh, okay she's, she's a bit hard Can she really bring this up my therapist me? Jesus Christ, woman, just take the compliment. No, because like, I've always asked her, like, you between, you know, me and her exes. Don't, don't yeah, compare. Okay, okay. You are the best, and that's just it. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. I know I'm the best. Me too.